Yesterday, we stayed a night at one of Japan's most attractive hot spring towns, Kurokawa Onsen. And today, we are on the road again. The destination? Another onsen town known for its natural carbonated onsen with healing properties. Join us as we explore the site around Nagayu Onsen Town. Soak in rejuvenating hot spring and mm, drink carbonated onsen water. We have reached Fukuji Temple and behind us is the largest stone carved Buddha statue in Japan. The stone was created during Mount Aso volcano eruption and people believe that due to the erosion, the Buddha's expression changed from angry and fierce to a more gentle and smiling face. We will be heading down to get a closer look. We'll see you there. It's not a stone carved Buddha, it's carved into stone Buddha. Mm, it's called Magai Butsu in Japanese. There is another Magai Butsu at the cave mm. here. Because it's hidden inside the cave, the condition is quite good. And I personally feel that the Buddha mm. is actually like Mona Lisa. When you look from far, it is smiling. But when we walk closer, the face expression actually changed. <laughs> you see now I he... Think it's the same. He... <laughs> it's the imagination. Now that we are done visiting Fukuji Temple, we will be heading to another onsen town called Nagayu Onsen. The Nagayu Onsen specialty is that they have carbonated onsen, which is known as the soda onsen. So it's going to be quite an interesting experience. It's about a 20 minutes drive from here and we will see you when we get there. Behind us is the Nagayu Onsen Visitor Center. If you are here and you want to know more information about this whole town, you can visit the visitor center. Nagayu Onsen is located at the foot of Mount Kuju and is naturally sparkling. The sparkling water is very good for stomach and intestine. There are a few water points for you to get the sparkling water and the onsen has therapeutic function. It's good for your general well-being. We are going to try that later. One thing we notice about the onsen here in Japan is that they are relatively cheap. The entrance of most of the onsen costs around 300 to 500 yen. If you are here and you want to try different onsen, it is also possible. That means you go onsen hopping. Do bring your towel along and some of them don't provide amenities like shampoo and body wash so if you want to wash yourself you have to bring your own as well mm. but for 500 yen it's Look. pretty cheap so bring your own stuff This is the first attraction at Nagayu Onsen Town. It's actually a public onsen and it's by the river banks. You can use it for free and from what I read, you can wear a swimsuit while you are using it. Well, our second attraction is this store behind us which sells onsen sweet. It's a 95 years old shop. If you really like sweets or you are traveling in a group, then you can try out their sweet. The smallest pack is 300 yen but it's still quite a lot. Since we have eaten quite a lot of sweet stuff yesterday night as well as this morning, we didn't want to buy any more sweet stuff. Actually, once we arrived at the town, we went to the Lamune Onsen where we booked a private room. The next slot available was 12.40 p.m. So we have about one and a half hour to tour this town. So now we're back in our car and we are just 10 minutes away from our sold out onsen experience. And Bonnie has some quick facts about this onsen to tell you. Lamune has the most sparkling onsen in this area and it has 1000 milligram carbon per liter. The roof of the building, it has pine trees because it's a symbol of longevity. It's now about time. They have some souvenirs in the shop, so we are going to browse it before we head for our onsen experience. And after an hour, we are back in our car. So there's one that is 
46 degree and there's one that is about 32 degrees. So the 32 degree water is clear so you can see the bubbles on your skin and it's a unique feeling. Mm. Yeah. So when you are soaked inside the water, the bubble will form on your skin. Overall, it was a better experience compared to the one we did in Unzen. It is slightly cheaper as well. If the private room costed about 2,000 yen. And now, the last thing we need to do in this onsen town is to collect their soda water. They say that the water mm. can cure diabetes and also <laughs> gout. I think it will slightly improve the condition. We don't know. Yep, so we are going to collect some and we'll try drinking it. And after that, we have to return this car and continue our journey to Euphorin, another onsen town. It's like an onsen tour. Behind us is the onsen drinking water and uh, yeah, doesn't really taste good. But you can actually taste a little bit of sulfur and a little bit of carbonated. Um, and surprisingly, it's warm. Yeah, it's, it's actually really warm. It's like the onsen water. If you want, you can take back home to start your own carbonated onsen. And we are here at our Ryokan for the night. It's called Ryokan Yamanami. It's quite a long walk all the way from the main Euphorin site. But overall, it's a pretty standard Ryokan room. We are a little bit surprised that there's no restroom within the room itself. Restroom is outside and then of course the bath is located outside the room as well. Okay, so that's all for today. Thanks for joining us. We will see you tomorrow.